Hi everybody, this is Matt Halls of the Happy Show in Comics Unlimited in Evansville, Indiana. And the reason I'm making this video vlog is just a short one, uh, hopefully, if I don't keep rambling on about nonsense. Uh, it has to do with a uh, uh, DVD I order. And I just, there's no real particular reason why I would have went ahead and, and uh, made this video. Uh, other than just to share this with you because you're my friends out there. Uh, <laughs> I did the video, you know, before where I showed... Uh, some of my DVD collection, and I'll finish up going through that. It'll take, it takes a while to go through each part of that collection. But in the meantime, uh, I did an earlier one that talked about the uh, British and UK, uh, you know, different videos and such that I have, uh, mostly the BBC stuff there. Um, and one of them was about Alan Partridge, which is right here. See that label? It's a used video. Uh, actually, I think this, yeah, this was the first one I got from, uh, that I ever saw of Alan Partridge. I knew Steve Coogan from, uh, let me show you here, from this movie and a few other things, but not, but mostly it was from Hamlet 2 of all things. It was a DVD that I picked up. I didn't see it in the theater or anything, but, uh, it had Steve Coogan and I enjoyed that well enough, um, and, and thought that was fun, but, um. And here in the United States, I mean, the way I understand it, and I know I got viewers who are from from Britain and such, uh, Steve Coogan's a big thing over in the UK. Over here, the average person, to be honest, still don't know, they still know who he is on, on average, or maybe they might recognize him if they saw him, but they couldn't tell you offhand, which is a shame because uh, Alan Partridge, the character he plays, is is one of the best comedy characters there are. I'm, I'm a fan of British comedy anyway, but in particular, I do enjoy the, his character. He's one of my favorites once I discovered him. And I discovered him by going to uh, a used video bookstore, uh, Super Mega Replay, I think it is called, here in Evansville. And uh, it's it's it had this disc in there. Now, it's Region 2, and I knew that when I bought it. Um, but region two, right? Is that the right one? Anyway, yeah, yeah, region two, well, two and four. But we're you, we're region one in the United States. That's what they call this part of the world when it comes to uh, DVDs and such. And region one players will not play a region two disc. You might be lucky and find certain ones that there might be some feature or some way you can enable it to do so. But as a rule, they don't. Or you can get a region free player. I don't actually own a region free player. Um, they aren't commonly sold in the department stores, or certainly not in my area. You usually have to make a special attempt to get them through online or whatever. And uh, anyway, so I uh, but but there's a little little workaround with with that with the computer. So I can watch a computer. I can also. I have a method to hook up a computer to a TV, so it's basically me, same as me watching on a DVD player. I just project on the TV through the computer instead of through a VCR or DVD player or, or Blu-ray player or anything like that. And the workaround is that most uh, Windows systems, I can't speak for um, for uh, the Macintosh or whatever, but the Apple computers, but but uh, uh, and who knows? I, you guys who have Apple may, may be able to tell me. Maybe you have no problem playing any region disc on an Apple. On the Windows player, the media player that comes with Windows that comes bundled will let you play region two disc, but you have to switch it over. You have to manually switch it to do so. And for some stupid reason, you're only allowed a handful of times before it permanently locks in whatever region you last did it in. So. It's tricky because if you if you still if you have a computer that will play disc, and you don't want it to get locked into a region region two whenever most of your discs are region one, if you watch them commonly enough on there, then don't do it. Then then you want to keep switching back and forth because eventually it'll be locked. If you uh, but there's a better there's another solution I'm going to mention that's uh, that works a lot better than doing that. Um, now the only thing I could see I was just going to point out is if you don't really you, you use your DVD player on your computer for watching disc most of the time because you have um, if you're still watching disc and they the aren't totally done uh, you know like with with uh, physical media so to speak. If you uh, do have a DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever, and play the disc on, then then maybe I guess you could decide. Well, if I don't play on my computer, I don't use my computer most of the time to play region any region disc. 
So for my region two disc, I'll go ahead and probably let it lock there. I guess that's a point you could make, you know, that you could, because why would you care if you got locked at region two whenever you're going to only play those discs on there anyway? Anyway, again, yeah, rambling on. So um, <laughs> I do have too much. I These discs, I'll just say real quick, uh, these discs, these vlogs, these vlogs I make, obviously are off the cuff. I don't want to edit them. <laughs> I used to edit uh, some of my vlogs back in the day, a long time ago, you know, whenever I first started on YouTube and such. And I'm sorry if I ramble on or get off the subject or on tangent or whatever, but I just don't want to be bothered with uh, editing this stuff if I don't have to. So, um, anyway. Um, oh, and just one little side. See, I'm going to go off on a tangent again. No, but one little side about the editing part. I did when I did that second video about my DVD collection. It ran out because apparently the file, uh, my computer will uh, my computer keep getting all these jumbled up. My phone, this thing here that I'm recording on right now, my phone will only do uh, so many minutes worth. It's like about forty minutes or something apparently before it it says it can't record anymore. Which I guess it doesn't. It can only do a certain file size. And then, because I could still record after that on another separate file, so so I learned that I can't go beyond 40 minutes anyway. Lucky you, that means you don't have to worry about me uh, going longer than that, because I'm not wanting to edit those things. It took me forever, the, the, you know, once I got out of the computer, to, for whatever reason, it took forever to render that damn uh, vlog, and then it took forever to upload it. And, and yet, doing it directly from my phone, it doesn't take that long, so... Back to Alan Partridge. <laughs> so, so, and about uh, the workaround to watching it. If you're in the United States and you want to watch Region 2 or any region that's not Region 1, and you don't want to take a chance on your uh, media player locking into one thing, get VLC Media Player. Most people these days who have any kind of uh, thing to do with working on computers knows if you if you got... Uh, you know, you're aware of this maybe, but in case you aren't, VLC Media Player will play disc, and it doesn't matter what region it is. You just open the open the disc through that VLC player. It's a free, or they got free version that works perfectly fine. You don't need to upgrade to some other version just to get this feature. Uh, it, it just automatically will play disc from other regions. So it's a region-free player in the, in the fact. And it doesn't lock into one position or another. It's just whatever, you know. So, okay. Back to the Alan Partridge thing. This is not going to be a short video. It's not as short as I meant it to be. So, I mentioned whenever I was doing my disc about my video collection, the first, the first one I did about it, when I was showing off these discs, this one, uh, which I got used, was in nice condition, worked fine and all. But these are kind of tough the get out, you know, some, some DVDs, uh, holders are tougher than others. Well, this one was such a pain in the ass that look, I'm going to get the light right on that. It cracked. I was getting ready to watch this. I haven't watched the full episodes in a long time. I had to watch clips on YouTube, even though I own these discs, but there, but nobody, because the BBC stamps down hard on the copyright, I guess nobody's uh, put full episodes on for a good long time. And really since I owned it, the only reason to watch on YouTube was just out laziness. I didn't want to pull out the disc. But when I tried to pull out, like I said, it broke. So that sucked. Because <laughs> that meant that I had to get a new disc. Thanks to eBay and all that, I don't have to live in Britain to get uh, a copy of that. I just have to go on eBay and such. So I was uh, looking for that. And uh, I already owned... I, you know, I, I picked this one up, which was, uh, I think it's another Region 2 disc. I'm Alan Partridge. Oddly enough, I think it was maybe BBC USA or whatever. The I, I don't actually have that service, but the but the BBC version that's so, that's uh, on the cable networks or whatever for you in the United States, depending on what service or what packages you have for cable. Uh, I guess they ran knowing me, knowing you. And the only reason I say that is because this is released by Warner Brothers in the United States, and it's it is a Region One disc. Um, I'm not sure if it's all regions, but it's definitely Region One. And I thought it was odd that uh, knowing me, knowing you, with Alan Partridge, is actually a, a U.S. disc because these 
there's not a U.S. equivalent, not that I've seen or know of, because, um, like I say, he's not really well known here, so they didn't have those out there. But they did release this in the United States, and they did release an actual Region 1 version, even though I don't think this is the Region 1 version. I think I bought the Region 2, but they do have a Region 1 version of uh, Alan Partridge, or maybe this is. Somebody will be able to explain to me. I think I, I already forgot. I think I got, I got that, though, but it's got the UK uh, age things, you know, the ratings. But anyway, I'm just, you don't know, it's Region 2. So I ordered the Region 2 disc. But I think there was a U.S. release of that, believe it or not. So, um, so anyway. On eBay, I went ahead and got this set. Now, the problem with it is it's already got two sets, two discs I already have. It's a complete collection of, of uh, Alan Partridge. Not really complete, because he did Mid-Morning Matters, and there's this News Hour thing or whatever he's got now. And a bunch of other odds and ends stuff. I'm opening this up because I just got it. It was factory sealed. And the guy had it for like 20 bucks or something like that. And then he marked it down to 12 something. And then sent me a special offer. I guess because if you if you watch something on eBay, if you click to watch it, it notifies the seller. And so they can send offers if they want to people watching their item. And I was watching just just keep my just keep it in my memory that this set was out there. I wasn't even particularly going to buy it from this guy, but he sent a, a thing. It was twelve bucks. I thought, well, you know, I'd pay twelve bucks for a single disc if I had to. Uh, even though I could find, I honestly could find some of these a little bit cheaper. But I thought, why not get the whole set again? So this is the whole set. I gotta remember when I take out that disc to be careful, so I don't get cracked because I think this was basically the same packaging. And, uh, except for it doesn't have that label, that used label on it. Knowing me, knowing you, the British version. Because, again, this is the U.S. release. And, and uh, this is the British release, or at least a British release. They may have released it more than once in different packaging. I'm not sure. And then there's the Region 2 uh, disc, which is the one I already have over there as well. So I got... Got a couple of duplicates now. Actually, they're all duplicates, but at least one is not broken. So I can finally watch my Alan Partridge videos again. And uh, I'm going to try to get them into Morning Matters because I don't own that yet. And uh, a few other things like that. I've, I've actually got his autobiography too. The, the, the mock autobiography that Steve Coogan did as Alan Partridge. Um, anyway, that's that's all I was going to make this video for. So it is a shorter video than my previous few videos. Perhaps it's still a little bit longer because I'm going on again. But I'll stop that now and spare you any more rambling. And uh, hopefully I'll be more concise in, in, uh, whenever I do my next video, even though I'm not editing these videos. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. So hopefully that won't bother you too much. But uh, now there'll be fancier stuff. Here I am on tangent again, but I just want to explain to you. There'll be other videos I make more creative and artistic stuff, or if I do comedic videos, that's not just a vlog. That I'll, I'll edit that stuff. But I'm just saying these vlogs, uh, be prepared. <laughs> They're rough and, and raw. They're just, uh, I just film them as it comes out and see what happens. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. And uh, that glare, oh, I'll work on that. Uh, thanks for watching. Yay! Dun, 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 dun.